This is the Augusta AW249 Fenice, a next-generation helicopter developed by the Italian Army, which some say might even be better than the American Apache. First of all, let's talk about the history of this project. The Augusta AW129 Mongoose is the predecessor of the AW249 and is currently in service with the Italian and the Turkish Armed Forces in the T129 configuration. The Mongoose was the first ever attack helicopter developed by a European country and was introduced into service in 1990. At first, the helicopter only had Hellfire air-to-ground laser-guided missiles. And for air-to-air -air engagements, it was equipped with Mistral infrared homing missiles. The Mongoose was later updated, and it can now be fitted with Spike air-to-surface missiles and Stinger air-to-air -air missiles. The helicopter also has an M197 20mm rotary cannon which can destroy everything that's in its way. It has a range of around 1 kilometer and can fire anything from 750 to 1500 rounds per minute. The Mangusta proved greatly effective in combat. The A-129 was deployed in all Italian missions abroad, such as Iraq, Somalia, and Afghanistan. The helicopter became especially famous when two Mangusta AW-129 of the Italian Army rescued a convoy of Spanish and American soldiers which had been attacked by the Taliban. The Mangusta executed several passages on enemy forces, annihilating everything and anyone that they could fire upon. But now, despite its great contribution in combat, is now time for a replacement, as the Mangusta has been operational for around 40 years and the Italian Army wants a new helicopter to take on future threats. So let's talk about the AW249 Fenice. The AW249 is larger, more survivable, and can carry double the weapons compared to its predecessor. Talking about weapon systems, the Fenice will carry an upgraded version of the 20mm cannon, the TM179B. It will also use the newest version of Spike air-to-ground missiles and will carry AM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. The AW249 will also be faster, will have a smaller radar cross-section, which means it will be more stealthy and it will use electronic countermeasures to improve its self-defense capabilities. One of the most impressive features will surely be its great integration with drones, which will increase the helicopter's reconnaissance and combat performance. As the Italian army said, this feature was implemented after closely following the war in Ukraine, which has stressed more than ever the importance of drones in modern-day conflicts. The helicopter will adopt a particular concept of drone, called Loyal Wingman, which means that the drone will be used together with the helicopter in order to bolster its survivability and combat capabilities. The helicopter made its first flight in 2022 and is set to enter service in 2025. It is currently the only Western-made attack helicopter being developed after the U.S. Army's FARA project was abandoned in 2023. The AW249 is set to be one of the best attack helicopters in the world, and that's why many nations have shown interest in it, other than Italy, which has Order 50 of them, Poland. Hungary and Slovakia are said to be very interested in the helicopter. I have to say that in case of a Russian invasion, these flying beasts would easily blow up most of Russia's tanks and armored vehicles. Since the helicopter is still a prototype, we will get to know more about it as we get closer to it entering service, but there's no doubt that Italy is taking a great leap in its military power with the AEW249 Fenice. Thank you for watching, and now if you want to find out how the Italians are sneakily becoming a world power, click here.